مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم ولكم اجين تو اور جيت واي تو عربيك سيريز ويت مي دكتور عمران حمزه علويه ماني اوف يو هاف بين اسكين مي ا ديريكت كويشن هاو اون ايرث ار وي جوين تو ريتين اور فوكابولاري لوك يو ار نوت الون اولموست افري ليرنرز اوف عربيك او اني اوذر لانجويجز ان ذا سيم بوت When I was learning Arabic, I experienced the same difficulties. But I now thought, okay, maybe we can do a series on this. And the solution, in my opinion, is in the uniqueness of the Arabic language root letter system. Because all Arabic words are derived from a root set of consonants that contain the base meaning. of that particular word today let's start with the um, root which has the meaning of knowledge and that is ain letter ain followed by lam and followed by mim any time you see an arab an arabic word uh, containing those three letters in that order ain lam and mim regardless of whether you have some letters before them or some letters interrupting them or letter after them no just keep your eyes on the root those ain and lam and mim in that order you can be rest assured that 99% they are carrying the meaning of knowledge learning studying information and alike so you have now the Uh, direction of travel in terms of the meaning so it will signpost you to possible meaning of the word that you are looking at because it give you uh, uh, an area that you should restrict yourself to to find out what does that mean so knowledge or information or learning or teaching that's kind of area uh, so and it's usually three letters you start with verb alima alima means he knew alimat she knew ya'lamu he knows ta'lamu she knows let's just stop there for one minute because i want to bring in another verb which actually means to know as well and quickly give you uh, the difference between the two verbs and then we deal with that second verb later on in another lesson and that verb is a ra fa ain ra and fa so arafa he knew um ya arifu she knows arafat she knew ta'rifu she knows So what's the difference between the two? When you use the verb alima or the, the root ain lam and mim, it has deeper knowledge, deeper idea aware of that whatever you're talking about. And also alima is more comprehensive. Whereas arafa slightly more superficial in a sense. I give an example. For instance, if I want to say I really really love you. I would say اعلم انني احبك حقا اعلم انني احبك حقا i know that i really really love you because that idea of i love you it is in my heart is deep and i know how big it is and i know how comprehensive my love for you is Whereas if I say أعرفو أنني أحبك حقا that's a more it's not deep enough because I'm the only one aware of my the, the depth of my love for you so I say أعلم is better perhaps more uh, a, a difference or example would be perhaps more clearer for instance I want to say God knows Allah knows You say, "Allahu ya'lam," or "Ya'lamu Allah." 
Allahu ya'lam. God knows. You don't say Allahu ya'rif. Because the knowledge of God is deeper and is comprehensive as nothing can surpass it ever. So therefore, you don't say ya'rifullah. You say ya'lamullah. So you can see now the, 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 the root alima is deeper than arafa in this case. For instance, if I say, oh, do you know this man? Do you know this man? You don't say, Hal ta'lam hadha rajul. You say, Hal ta'rifu hadha rajul. Do you know this man? Because knowledge of another person can never be deep to the, to the extent that uh, is really comprehensive. Because people do put uh, a front. <laughs> you put front, a <laughs> facade. So, Therefore, you don't say Hal Ta'lam Hadha Rajul, you say Hal Ta'rifu Hadha Rajul. Okay, we stop there for the comparison and later on in another lesson we are going to explore the root Ain Ra Anfa. Let's go back to our root of today, Alima. So, the um, noun from Alima is Ilmun. So, Alima, Ya'lam, Ilmu. Whenever you are learning the verb, it's always better to learn past tense, present tense, and then the noun which is derived from that verb. We call it muster, which is a verb or noun. So, ilmun is knowledge, and that is a noun. Now, let's see whether we can find some phrases we have that ilmun within it. For instance, people say, uh, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. In Arabic, you say, Utlubu al-ilma min al-mahd ila al-lahad. Utlubu al-ilma min al-mahd ila al-lahad. Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. So learn that phrase for me. Another phrase you may wish to learn is Al-ilmu fi sigari kan naqshi fi al-hajar Al-ilmu fi sigari kan naqshi fi al-hajar Knowledge in childhood is like engraving in a stone Al-ilmu fi sughari kan naqshi fi al-hajar. One more phrase for you. Where do you find ilmu within it? So learn it. Uh, two people are never satisfied. Uh, a seeker of knowledge and a seeker of wealth or money. In Arabic you say, ifnani la yishba'ani. Two people never satisfied. Talibu ilmin, seeker of knowledge. You always seek knowledge. Because the more I learn, the more I discover how little that I know. That's why Talibu ilm, seeker of knowledge, never satisfied. So, ifnani, la yashba'ani, talibu ilmin, wa talibu malin. The people who are after money, my goodness me, <laughs> when they have billion, they've just started. <laughs> they, 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 they never stop. <laughs> so, that phrase, learn it. That will help you with your vocabulary. So, ilm is the, is the, is the, uh, the base here we are looking at. So, we have uh, alima ya'lam ilmun. Okay, let's now look at some noun. For instance, the uh, ismu fa'il, or Active participle, alimun. Alim mean scholar. Alimun. You can see now there's an alif after the first root ain. Alimun. That doesn't disturb us. It just give us shade meaning of the original base meaning. That's all. Alimun is scholar. That's somebody who's full of knowledge. Alimun. Now there are some subjects that we study at university, such as. Uh, ilmul insan that's my anthropology ilmu that's knowledge of people anthropology ilmul insan 
علم الاجتماع السوشيولوجي اجتماع من سوسايتي كمان توجذا سو علم الاجتماع سوشيولوجي العلوم الاجتماعية as mean social sciences العلوم الاجتماعية you can see العلوم is a عين ده is a لام ده is a name in that order then you have all the other letters coming in and out العلوم الاجتماعية if you want to say psychology is علم النفس علم النفس psychology biology علم الأحياء علم الأحياء and so on okay let's, let's look at another one uh, معلوم معلوم means known معلوم that's a uh, that's a passive participle it's مفعول معلوم uh, معلومات information معلومات information Again, you look at the ayn, there's a lamb, there's a meme that has been highlighted for you. Malumat. Information. Okay, so we've done that with that. Let's now go and move to another verb coming from the original root letter. Uh, and that is Allama. Allama. The second root letter here, which is lam, has been doubled. Hence, we put shadar on it. Allama. So, allama, that means he taught. Allama. He taught. Allamat, she taught. Yu'allimu, he teaches. Uh, and tu'allimu, that means she, in the in present tense. So, allama, you allimu. For instance, you can say, um, "Who is teaching you the Arabic language?" Men, you uh, allimu ka al al Arabiya. So you can say, "Doctor Imran, you allimu ni, or who is the one who teaches me al Arabiya al Shabika?" Dr. Imran is the one that's uh, teaching me the Arabic on the internet. Dr. Imran huwa alladhi yu'allimuni al-arabiyyata ala shabika. So that's a, then you can have um, a teacher, teacher coming from that verb, allama yu'allim. So mu'allim. Mu'allim is your active participle, which is your ismufail, mu'allim. The teacher, male teacher, female teacher is muallimatun, female teacher. Masmu uh, muallimika. What's the name of your teacher? You say muallimi, smuhu, Doctor Imran. Who else? <laughs> it's me. So my teacher's name is Doctor Imran. Muallimi smuhu. Dr. Imran. Uh, if you say female, you say Muallimati, my female teacher. Muallimati Smuha Zainab. My teacher's name, my female teacher's name is Zainab. So that's a Allama, Yuallimu, Muallim. Now, the noun from Allama is Ta'alim. Allama yu'allim ta'alim. Ta'alim means education. Ta'alim, education. That's why you have uh, Waziru Ta'alim, Minister of Education. Uh, Waziru Ta'alim. Uh, you can say Ta'alimun Alin, higher education. Ta'alim Alin, higher education. Ta'alim al Kibar, uh, adult education. Let's uh, go to another now, another verb uh, from our original uh, root letter, and that's a form four, for instance. أعلم يعلم أعلم يعلم إعلام أعلم is to notify somebody or to let someone know something. 
a'lama and present tense yu'limu and the noun is i'lam so i'lam is uh, information information that's why you say if you want to say the media becomes wasailul i'lam wasail is the means i'lam of informing people that's the the media we hope we get the accurate information from them we can always hope of course <laughs> Okay, right, so وسائل uh, الإعلام Again, you can see the عين and لام and ميم they are there in that order so it's a current idea of information وسائل uh, الإعلام uh, Minister of Information is وزير الإعلام وزير, Minister الإعلام information, وزير الإعلام Minister of Information Now, let's look at Another verb from our root letter, and that is ta'allama, uh, as mean to learn. Ta'allama, he learned or learned. Ta'allamat, uh, she learned or she learned. Ta'allamat, ya ta'allamu, he is learning. Tata'allamu, she is learning. And the, what's the noun from that? Noun from that means ta'allum. Ta'allama, ya ta'allamu. Ta'allum. And that's it, learning or studying. For instance, you can say, um, Fulan, somebody, huwa sari'u ta'allum. It's a fast learner. Sari'u ta'allum. Or batui ta'allum. He is a slow learner. Ta'allum. Now, what else can we get from that? Muta'allim, for instance. Muta'allim, that's your ismu fa'il, which is your active participle. Muta'allim. I mean, a learner. A learner. Muta'allim. A learner. Again, you have ain and lam and mim there. Muta'allim. So I can say, oh, ana. متعلم مبتدئ I'm a beginner learner أنا متعلم مبتدئ I'm a beginner learner um, أنا متعلم uh, سريع I'm a fast learner أنا متعلم بطيء I'm a slow learner so متعلم okay what else so we can move to another verb from our uh, original root letter. Uh, istalama, for instance, that's a form 10. Istalama, yastalimu, istalam. Istalama, that means to make inquiry, to seek information. Istalama. Again, look at that. Istalama. There are extra three letters at the beginning, but you still have your ayn and lam and mim which gives you direction of travel in terms of meaning. In this case, that means he is seeking uh, an information, in making an inquiry. Um, that's why you say, if you want to say um, information desk, you say, Maktabul Isti'alamat. Maktabul Isti'alamat. Information desk. Now, you can see now the idea of root letters uh, system in Arabic. It can help us to concentrate, to, to concentrate our mind and follow the meaning. So anytime, wherever you are reading Arabic, with a story or news or whatever, look out for that ayn, lam and mim. And you will see it will help you to know, to have an idea of the area, the meaning. So because that will signpost you. That, and that is true of uh, maybe 95%. Uh, occasionally you can have um, few, very few, which is containing those three letters, but nevertheless doesn't carry the idea of knowledge, for instance. I'll give you an example. Alam. Alam, with Fatah on the Lam, that means the world. Alam. Uh, if you want to say globalization, and that would be al awlama al awlama Globalization. al awlama um, so, perhaps 
there is connection with knowledge, information, maybe when the world is uh, close together, <laughs> who knows? So, but 95%, uh, once you learn particular route, you know the sphere of, of, the, of the meaning you'll be looking out for. So uh, I urge you to revise this very well. We will continue to do this to introduce uh, a root letter at a time and we'll look at them just as we did now for Ali Ma. Well done. I hope that please let me know your view on this system if you think is useful. We'll continue, inshallah. And but well, before we finish, may I just uh, remind you that uh, I am desperate to raise funds for my charity helping hand for education please 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 help us to uh, uh, finish our project we are building an educational resource center in my hometown we are desperate you can see the progress being made on this project by clicking on the the the, the link below please help out but please 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 make donation uh, small or large. Thank you so much and see you next time inshallah. God willing. Ma'asalama. Ayyallika fi amanillah.